looking at a, a comic strip. It has three panels. It's focused on the, the Arctic char. So this fish is is uh, like the numbers of it of, of this fish are dwindling down, and it's because of what's uh, what's happening to the to the lake, the rising temperature and the, the dumping of uh, farming waste is, is causing a lot of changes. I, I try to illustrate the the lake or the mirror by by this lady, which is. Uh, almost like she's drowning or, or suffocating around these blooming uh, blooming weeds and also the the, the boats that are uh, in the lake so they are surround, su surrounding her and she's barely trying to to keep uh, to survive it to float on the second one it's uh, she the same person is trying to, to like to hold on to as much as she can of the active child and they are swimming around her so they know that she's protecting them and not not catching them or hurting them and on the last one i've read about um, some sort of a weed um, it was clogging um, boat motors and uh, clogging i think uh, many things and uh, that's uh, that's what i try to illustrate here it's fantastic to see uh, the mural on the side of the boat club. I, I feel personally there's a great opportunity for uh, scientists, creative and artists to collaborate to jointly raise awareness of issues such as the climate emergency and the biodiversity crisis. There, there's been a silent and uh, sort of unwitnessed decline of char in Windermere and other lakes as well and that's primarily due to the effects of climate change, uh, deteriorating water quality, and invasive species. The future for char is uncertain at the moment. It's right on the southern edge of its uh, distribution and climate change is certainly not going to help that. However, what we can do as an association is to better understand the pressures that are affecting char and where possible help to inform conservation action. So at FBA we want to uh, embark on a major programme of Arctic char research and conservation action driven by good science and what we're hoping to do is to form a char conservation coalition to better understand those factors affecting this iconic fish and then take the action to try and save it.